We back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Terry McLaurin, one of my favorite receivers to watch. He's a very complete player, really excels at every facet of the game when it comes to like releases, route running, very strong at the catch point in different types of situations, downfield tracking. He makes an impact at all three levels. He's very sudden. He can win with athleticism. He's on the thinner side, but he plays with physicality. He's tough, very unselfish player. So yeah, let's get right into this film breakdown. This play does just a really good job of showing all of McLaurin's strength just in one play. Right here, working versus press against number 43. Dives inside right away. He loves these quick dive releases. He's very sudden off the ball. And then he sells this slant right here with his whole body, commits the eyes back to the quarterback with the shoulders. And then he goes back vertically to get back to the outside, working almost like this sluggo type of route. Gets over the top, physicality through the defensive player's hands. And then the insane catch. This is one of the best catches I saw last season. The body control, the contortion, catching it behind, like over the shoulder like that. Just insane stuff. Love the physicality. He can just hit through the route stem here. Getting through that. He even gets called for a flag there for holding number 43. And then this is insane tracking ability. Catching this over the shoulder. This was like three yards outside the shoulder of where he was initially. And then it ends up on his backside shoulder. He has to con like contort his body min midair, and then still gets like a knee inbounds there. It's like very impressive. Like one of the better catches I saw, like I said earlier. But very impressive stuff here from McLaurin with the release to the route running, the manipulation there, physicality through the stem, and then the insane tracking ability down the field. We got Scary Terry here working against cover three. Uh, good job attacking this leverage here using his eyes and then changing directions there with some violent hips. Pretty good play here from Terry overall. Let's watch this a little more slowly. Good job eating up that cushion. Gives that hard stab to the outside, which the corner then thinks he's going to go into the inside right now. Then sells with eyes, body, keeps pad level low. Violent hip change to change direction and get out of it. And then just creates that separation naturally. And then, yeah, he will be a bit of a body catcher at times. Let's say he comes into his chest, but he's very strong in contested situations. So he ends up winning a lot of those anyways. So it's not a huge concern. Would like to see him catch with his hands more, but really good job here manipulating. We've seen him beat press, and now we've seen him understand how to attack deep zone coverages when the corner is bailing like that. We got McLaurin as like the point man of what's going to become a stacked formation once he, the tight end motions over here. Going against Trey White, this is just a really good rep of just winning with physicality and strength. Hard shove with that right hand to create separation. And when you're a wide receiver, there's a, many different ways to create separation, whether it be with like manipulation or just athleticism. There's also play strength, physicality. There's many different ways to do that. And that's where I think McLaurin's very nuanced is he can create separations in many different ways. And this is versus top corners, Trey White. White plays it patient. Ends up getting his hands into the chest here of McLaurin. But McLaurin is able to recover this, even though he's in a bad spot here, with a violent shove of that right hand, which he now gets his outside track, creates the separation, and, you know, they pick up the first down here. Really good stuff from Terry. Watch this rub at full speed against Lattimore. McLaurin and Lattimore had a really good battle, actually. It was pretty back and forth, but this one was won by Terry right here. Good release package, just slide a little to the inside. Then suddenly work back vertically, get on that outside track. He gets exactly what he wants running like this hinge route right here. Sets this up perfectly. Just a little slide to the inside, sticks that foot in the ground. Moves Lattimore back to the inside leverage so he gets exactly what he wants. Just route manipulation with footwork, with pace, and just attacking leverage. Then reworks ver vertically, then leans back into Lattimore, which... You might not think like, oh, now he, Lattimore's back in good position. He's not created any separation. But you want to lean back in to recreate that separation back to the outside on your route break using a little shove there, you know, using a little bit of like a chicken wing technique, but don't want to, you know, get past interference and then create that natural separation back to the outside. Really good rep from McLaurin because he was facing outside leverage and is able to manipulate Lattimore back to the inside and wins this rep, picks up the first down. He's really good in that intermediate range. Going outside, inside, doesn't really matter. But yeah, just a really good rep from McLaurin. We got Terry working another zone deep coverage, working against like quarters right here. Doesn't really do anything too special in the routes 10, but I just want to show him at the catch point here, adjusting, 
back to this ball. He just runs right past the corner. Uh, the corner has like 4-2 speed, but then he adjusts back to the ball. This time attacks it with his hands. He's a very good downfield tracker. Really good adjusting on these back shoulder throws. Uh, just a reliable option down the field to make throws or make catches on inaccurate throws. Slows this down, tracks that ball in, high points it to the back shoulder, shows body control in air, then field awareness, gets those eyes down to see where he's at. Two feet, toe tap, inbounds, really high level play at the catch point. Why I really like McLaurin is he you think he's just more of an athlete winning his with his suddenness off the ball, but he's really strong at the catch point, even though he will catch the ball with his body at times, just a downfield demon with his speed and tracking ability. So really good rep by Terry, manipulating with just a slight change of pace and a leverage right there, and then wins at the catch point very strong right there, even though he gets hit over the top, like hooked around the neck. But just watch this a little more slowly. Takes a slight angle to the inside right here versus outside leverage. And once he gets a few yards downfield and eats up a bit of cushion, he takes one sort of step vertically, thinking the corner is going to like, think or he's manipulating the corner to think like he's going to lean back to the outside just vertically one step slows his pace down just a little bit to freeze the db and then explodes out of it just to create just enough separation to fit this ball in here and then makes a tough catch works back towards the ball that like one step right there we can watch that a little more slowly just one step to attack it in the air and then gets hooked around the, the neck by 21 but hangs onto it just He's very good in the red zone because he makes those tough catches and he has just enough like athleticism manipulation just to create just enough separation right here and then make the tough catch in the end zone. Watch this play at full speed. Good job using some manipulation here. Understands how to use his bodies and then violently sink those hips to get in and out of breaks. Really like this rep from Terry. You know, working like selling the out and up. He really does a good job of selling vertically because he's such a vertical threat. So he goes to the out here. And then re-accelerates right there. He's slow playing it on the out and then accelerates to make it look like he's running sort of a lazy out and up. But he's running an out and up back to the comeback. And then understands how to see the DB bailing. So he just attacks that blind spot. Sinks those hips. Gets out of the break, out of the break right there. And then just it creates natural separation. McLaren is a natural separator. Understands how to work route pace. Change up that tempo manipulate, sink those hips, get out of the brakes, makes the catch. Really strong play from McLaurin. We got a nuanced tracking play down the field right here. You don't see a lot of receivers doing this. This is a pretty high-level play, and it's very subtle too. Um, just a pretty normal vertical release right here. And then when he at the catch point, he slows down just enough to be able to feel this corner, number two right there. Slows his pace down, watch. The ball's underthrown. So he slows down and then gets his hand back here to feel the corner and use that body to box him out and then go up and attack the football. And then the corner could not make a play at the catch point because he's sort of boxing him out there. If he had slowed down a bit later, and then the corner would have been able to just make a play on the ball. But since he uses his body to box out, this is some high-level stuff from McLaurin. Um, not a lot of receivers do that. You Something you might think is very small, very little, but it's very subtle. And he uses it all the time, and he's not the biggest guy either, but understands how to use his body at the catch point to make these catches down the field. Last play I wanted to show, nice little one-two step release there. Sudden off the line and able to just stack over the top, create all that separation versus Bradbury instantly off the line. He's just he's a downfield vertical threat. Like He makes these plays. He can line him up in the slot out wide. Very versatile player. Love the competitiveness that he plays with there. He takes a little bit of hit from the safety. Stays on his feet, showing some contact balance. Uh, more physical than you would think for his size after the catch and at the catch point. So, yeah, overall, really enjoy his film. He's one of my favorite players to watch in the NFL. And if you guys like this, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.